What's up, Aries, Kings, Queens, and damn, that's just kind of loud. Okay, y'all, my bad. What's up, Aries, Kings, Queens, and everything in between? I'm Austria of Unbothered Queen, and today I will be channeling the collective of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mercury in regards to love for a general love message for the 18th through the 24th. All right, please keep in mind that the time frame is only for me and whenever you see this message, that's when you're meant to see it. These messages are timeless. Also, only take what resonates with you. Um, if this message does not resonate, please be sure to check out your other placements as I do Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mercury here. All right, so clear and concise messages, spirit. Give me the overall energy for Aries or the um, energy surrounding Aries from their person. Very concise messages, please. Thank you, ancestors, spirit guides, and spirit. All right, thank you. All right, so we got third eye clarity. We have past lack of suffering. We have Chiron guided. I'm sorry, guarded wounds. And we have messages, dreams. All right, we also have limitations and fears. Someone feels like um, they can't reach you here, or that's the energy that you're feeling here, and you are dealing with your twin flame for a majority of you because, baby. Okay? Yeah, it's you guys may be in separation right now, but it is to bring you guys closer together. This is just um, a time in which you need to learn the lesson. Um, I'm here and listen, uh, ace the assignment. So, you take that as it resonates there, Aries. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put these suckers up here. But yeah, with third eye clarity, I feel like you guys have a lot of clarity about something or your person does as this is mutual energy. But I'm definitely getting the sense that for a lot of you, it's you. Um, you have a lot of clarity about something. You may have stepped away from this person. And if you guys are in separation from your person, please check out your separation or contact message past lack suffering you could have left this person in the past and that's why they are feeling some sort of way right now um yeah it, it also may be a, a situation where your person is living in the past and that's what's called causing like uh the delays in your relationship right now we have uh, and then guarded and wounds again this is i'm feeling is your person's energy here this is why um, you guys could possibly be at a standstill in regards to your relationship um, both of you could be getting messages and dreams about one another during this time here all right clear and concise messages please clear it this is a versus message. I just saw threes of crowds, so somebody could have been stepping out here. I also saw children, so someone could have been childish, and I just saw separation. Someone could have been childish, or someone could have been in a situation where um, they, uh, I don't know why I'm here, and they had a child in the way, and they didn't know it, or some shit like that. Or someone could have been in a situation with their child's parent, or dealing with someone that has issues with their child's parent, okay? All right intent challenge and the action here thank you all right all right so this person is watching you right now because they're thinking about if it's okay to come towards you with a new beginning but some of you guys definitely be be weary because they're not offering shit solid right now so you know, you know your people. Them your, look, them your people. Intimate date, let's go out, have a drink or two and have a little fun. Um, this is the person's intent. I'm getting somebody coming in for some light, lighthearted energy during this time. Um, not really acting um, too serious here or like something is so super serious. It says friendship. Can we be friends and build from there? Some of you guys are finding it hard to be friends with this person or this person is finding it hard to be friends with you. Especially for some of you that have already like crossed that line and it has been more. Um, others, this person could have just told you that they feel a certain type of way about you and you are trying to 
figure out if you want to go there with them for some of you you're not interested in the friend for others you you're thinking about it all right we got empty space i feel empty without you you're the spotlight of my heart again this is with suffering and lack somebody left somebody in the past and that's why they're feeling like baby you shine okay like that's that fire energy man and look, once the, once you didn't got it you can't go back i just saw love hey all right, go ahead and give me the wise here, spirit. Give me the wise here. Thank you. Mm, see? We got making the effort here. It says, I'm willing to put in the work to have that our happily ever after. So this person going to come in acting like they're ready to do something. But again, it's going to be fleeting. You know, they're going to act like they want to put in the effort or their, their effort is like trying to have a date with you or some shit like that. If the problem before was like, uh, we don't spend enough time together or some shit like that here. But this person isn't trying to offer you anything solid here. It says, I can't offer you anything solid right now. Please be patient. Um, and a lot of you are done being fucking patient with this person is what I'm hearing. All right, so we have control. I want to feel in control than to lose myself in love. And that is why they are in this empty space, okay? Because they try to control um, the love here. And that's why they're by their fucking self or feeling some sort of way. And now this person is waiting on you to come towards them. They're waiting on some sort of connection here. It says slow down. There's no need to rush it. Slow down. Let's take our time. Yeah, because this person possibly needs to heal here. And you could have been rushing it. I'm going to say you because, you know, that fire energy. We do not like to take all day. Like, baby, let's do this. Or are we, are we doing this or not? You know? <laughs> Is this something that we're doing or not? All right, Aries. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mercury. What's your person's intent towards Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mercury here? Thank you, Spirit, for clear concise messages. Thank you. All right, we got um, the full card, Aries, Aquarius, Energy. We have the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. And we have the Eight of Pentacles. Like I said, this person is not offering anything. They just wanna they just want the recognition, right? They don't want to put in the effort to get it. Um, it's a lot of frustration too because they do want a new beginning with you, but this person is not ready um to put in the effort or put in the to invest the time, right? To invest the time to make this, uh, make you feel secure or to make this relationship work. This person expects to kind of snap their fingers and things kind of go back to normal. You could be dealing with the earth sign here, um, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or someone that has those in their placement, or maybe you do. Yeah, 10 of Pentacles here with the Queen of Pentacles. This part is the funniest deal. They want, look, it's like they just want to get on on with it. From the Knight to the Queen of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles, we together. It's like for some of them, they're wanting to move slow here. But only because like, okay, how can I say that? Okay, this person may you may have felt like this person moved slow in the past, but this person really has a lot of love for you, and they're wanting to offer you stability in whichever way that they can, right? So with the Queen of Pentacles, which is Capricorn's energy as well as Sagittarius, this person is trying to offer you everything. They're trying to give you the sun and the moon, is what I'm hearing. All right, what is Aries' intentions for this person? I just saw the Seven of Swords. Like it's like you clear on what this is. You're overanalyzing shit at this point. What's um, Aries' intention? What's Aries' intention here, Spirit? Thank you. Clear and concise messages, please. Thank you. All right. All right, we got the Justice card in the reverse here. All right. And this is all about, like, you're not sure. You're unsure because you feel like this person was dishonest in the past. Yeah, you're moving away from dishonest shit. Yeah. Or somebody that's not sure about you. It's like you are you have a different perspective of this relationship here. And you are no longer wanting to be stuck. This person could have kept you in a place of being stuck because they're going back and forth with their energy. Pisces energy with the um hanged woman. Yeah. 
Three of Pentacles. This instant, um, this unproductive union is not bringing you emotional. Um, uh, how can you say that? Um, emotional. I want to say success. That's what I'm hearing. But it, it's not bringing you emotional fulfillment. That's what I'm looking for. It's not bringing you emotional fulfillment. So for a lot of you, you're deciding to move away from this situation. If this thing is not stable, you do not fucking want it. Like, and that's period. Because a lot of you, this person is conflicting with what you want out of love. And you don't have time for that. All right. What is the challenge here with Aries person? Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mercury. What is the challenge here with Aries person? Thank you. All right, we have the chariot card in the reverse. You're not putting in no effort anymore. You're not putting in any more effort towards this person. This person feels like it's a missed opportunity here because they weren't offering any shit, anything solid here. Yeah, Knight of Swords in the reverse. Um, this is Cancer's energy. You could also be dealing with an Aquarius here with the Knight of Swords, or you could have been dealing with a Cancer. Um, it's definitely like this person, they're very uh, unpredictable here. Okay. This person could also kind of find you impulsive. And feel like the fact that you're, it's like you're not wanting to take things slow. You're not wanting to take things slow. You're not wanting to wait on them to get their shit together. Yep. And they feel like you're their soulmate. They want to heal this union here. You probably got a lot of time with this person. Um, you probably spent a lot of time with this person. And I just saw 11.44. Look up those numbers. You probably um, have a lot of history with this person here. With the Six of Cups. Yep, this person don't want the cycle to end for those of you that, uh, yeah, they don't want, mm -hmm. they could have been juggling you in the past, but they still don't want this shit to end with the world in the reverse and the Six of Swords in the reverse, okay? They are resistant. They refuse to let you go. Even though they're not really offering you shit solid, they refuse to let you go. That's deep. All right. What's Aries challenge here? What's Aries challenge spirit? What's Aries challenge? All right, we got the Queen of Cups here, which is um, Gemini, Gemini Cancer energy. You could be dealing with the, one of those signs, and that could legit be your challenge, that person, because you could have some sort of twin flame union with this person. Um, not giving this person a second chance or ending things with this person, that is your challenge here. Scorpio energy with the death card, yes, keeping your guards up with this person. That is your challenge, keeping um, understanding what you know is what you know. Third eye. Not needing nobody to tell you what it is and you just knowing what the fuck it is. That is your challenge. You know, some people like to have clarity and like somebody to confirm. If you know, you know. Okay? Yep. Yep. Five of swords. Worrying about yourself. That is your problem. Worrying about yourself. Worrying about yourself. Five of swords. Temperance card here and the um, ace of cups. Filling your cup back up. With the Temperance card, that's Sagittarius's energy. But filling your cup back up, worried about what is good for you and what you want to do here in the future. You know, this is definitely a sense of recovering here. And also forgiving yourself for maybe um, giving this person a little bit too much of your time. Okay. All right. What actions will Aries person be taking towards them during this time, Spirit? What actions will Aries person be taking towards them during this time? Clear and concise messages, please, Spirit. Clear and concise messages, please. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we got the Knight of, I'm sorry, the King of Swords here, which is Gemini's energy as well as Taurus. We also have the Page of Wands here. And we have the Ten of Wands. This person going to come to you to talk to you because they, um, they're ready to release their burdens here. This person could have acted as if they didn't care. They didn't They didn't care what happened with this relationship, especially for those of you that are in separation. They could have been very cold towards you um, prior to, very aloof, very distant. And now this person wanted to come back in and say, like, 
baby i'm sorry you know it's like i have like now i understand what it is and they want to come in with some sense of justice and um being considerate to tell you like i get where i what i was doing wrong and i'm sorry and i want to work on it with you and they're wanting to kind of put the things in the past they're wanting to release those things and work on themselves to be able to move forward with you and they no longer want to be a burden to you with the ten of wands right here the page of swords in the reverse here and the eight of swords in the reverse yeah they're understanding that if they don't come towards you with some sort of commitment here especially with the page of swords in the reverse if they don't come to you with some sort of commitment here and and get out of this aloof um energy that you're gonna walk away if they're not coming towards you with some sort of stability and open up with their emotions and feelings and stop trying to control everything you're gonna step and so they're coming with some sense like they have some okay what's the actions that aries is going to be taking during this time spirit what action will aries be taking towards this time Ugh. all right yep you focused on you baby you focused on you you have clarity you know exactly what you want you're deciding to um work on the things in which you need to work on for yourself with the judgment card because your decisions stay firm you ten toes down and some of you are going to be in your head a little bit thinking about what's your next move but it's okay to do that it's okay to think think yeah you're trying to figure out if you want to deal with this person again because when they come back around they're gonna come back around like they want to deal with you and you're trying to figure like if it's worth it if it's worth it to deal with them again yep yep if you want to give them recognition um that's your energy with the queen of wands aries energy as well as pisces you're trying to figure out if you want to give them recognition because you do know that that person is your soulmate your twin flame you see it back to back y'all yeah. you know it but shit if they want to take advantage of you like they have been it's fuck it you okay with leaving them behind though too because it's you're like it's gonna be none of that all right let's go ahead and get we'll get some of these cards really quickly all right what messages does aries person want to tell them what does aries person want to tell them what does aries person want to tell them i can't even look at you right now okay we have I left because you told me to. So yeah, we <laughs> yeah, because you was acting you was acting funny. Definitely to whatever you think it is. And I can't even look at you right now with I'm coming, trust, right? <laughs> when you know better, you do better. Okay, let's go ahead and get the signs that you're dealing with during this time, Aries. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mercury. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much. It really helps me out. All right, we got Saturn here, Capricorn energy. We have Neptune here, Pisces energy. We have Cancer. And we have Jupiter here, which is Sagittarius's energy. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave it here. Thank you so much for all of your love and support. I send it back to you guys tenfold, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.